Hey guys, so this is just a quick video showing you how I um, do the graphs for, um, well, kinetics graphs. This is, this, this is problem four on worksheet number seven. Um, but we are given this data um, in the problem, and what we did is we had to graph the concentration versus time, natural log concentration versus time, and one over the concentration versus time to see which gives the straightest line. Whichever gives the straightest line, r squared closest to one, is the, um, is the graph that tells us what order the equation, uh, the reaction is with respect to, in this case, hydrogen peroxide. So here's the data. Um, I have, the way most red sheets are, are set up by default is when you, you graph two columns of data, the left column is the x-axis, the second column is the, the right column is the y-axis. Um, you can change that setting, but mine's still like that. So I, that, so I made sure to put time on the x-axis uh, on the left and concentration on the right. So the first graph is going to be just concentration versus time. So I highlight the data, not the, not the headings, and then I go to insert, chart, xy scatter, next, next, next. And then unclick the display legend, I don't need that. The title is going to be dependent versus independent variable, so it would be concentration of hydrogen peroxide versus time. Um, subtitle uh, would be um, your name, I'll put mine. X-axis is time, and units are seconds, in this case. And Y-axis is the concentration of hydrogen peroxide, and it's in moles per liter. I want the x-axis grid to show. Um, click finish, and now I have a graph, right? Um, to get the, and this obviously isn't a straight line, but we can get our squared anyway. So to get a, to in, insert an, a, a, a line, just um, left click on one of the data points. See all they have that now, they all have that little blue box in there. And then right click, same place, and where it says insert trend line, do that. Um, click on type. Click show equation and show coefficient of determination, and we get this. And that's fine, but that's way more sig figs than we're, you know, would be allowed. So we can um, right click on this again, format trend line equation, click on numbers, um, click on like maybe this one right here, and change the decimal places. I think if we uh, have six past the decimal, It'll look like this, and that'll be our, our equation. So there's our equation, y equals mx plus b. r squared's not very good. Um, now, to do the natural log um, equation, so I'm, I'm going to get rid of this here, but what you would do is you would, if you wanted to, in, say you were putting this into a, a lab, you would um, click on the, the graph. So let me show you something. If I Click like this. You see, I don't know if you can see. There's a gray bar outlining the graph. That means I can go inside the graph and, and change things inside the graph. If I click outside of the graph, and then left click once there, see where it says that it has these squares around it. That means I've selected the whole graph. And what I can do is I can go file, um, export as PDF um, selection. So that means it's just going to do the graph. And I can export it, and I will have a file, a PDF file, that is just the graph without the data. But we won't do that now. I'm just going to get rid of this so I can show you the next one. Now to do the natural log, okay? So I'm going to, in this column here, I want to take the natural log of these numbers right here. So I'll just click on this um, cell, press equals to tell it that it's a um, calculation, and just ln for natural log of, and the address of this one is b. 2. So B2. And there's the natural log. And then if I just select that, hit Control C or copy, then highlight the cells all the way down here, hit Control V. Now it's this is calculating the natural log of the number right next to it. And so all I have to do now to um, let's fix that font. I don't like that font. Now to do, um, do the graph, we want time to be our x-axis, so I highlight that. I'm pressing the control button, 
and I'm going to select all of these cells. Let's see if this works. And I'll go insert, chart, XY scatter, next, 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 and once more, no, you know, unclick display legend. This is going to be natural log of the concentration of hydrogen peroxide versus time. Subtitle be your name. Here, let me do it this way. Your name, so you don't feel mine. Um, X-axis will be time. You know there are seconds. Um, Y-axis is going to be um, natural log of the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. I want the X-axis. Click finish. There I go. That looks pretty straight. Um, so I'm going to click on one of those data points. Right click. Insert trend line. Type. Show equation. Show coefficient of determination. Okay, I can move this around, put it somewhere you can see it. Um, I'm going to change the format trend line equation. Numbers on that and six past the decimal. And there we go. That R squared is a lot closer to one than the last one. Y equals MX plus B. Um, and there you go, same idea. I'll click out here, then click on this, and then export as PDF. But I'm going to delete this one here, and now I'll show you the last one. So this, we're going to do the same idea. We want 1 over the concentration of peroxide. So it's going to be 1 divided by B2 equals, so equals 1 divided by B2. Um, and that's because it's 0.5 is 2. Um, control C to copy, select the remaining cells beneath it. Control V, um, and I'm going to change the font. Now, worry about sig figs and spreadsheets, guys. Um, spreadsheets aren't set up to do sig figs, and you know this this uh, this number I put in as uh, I think 0 0.500, but it automatically does defaults to that. It doesn't matter. The same thing here. So now to do our last graph, our x-axis is time. So we'll select all those. So you know. Click on the top one, hold down the shift key, and left click down the bottom. And now we're going to press the control key and select all of these guys. Insert trend line, um, insert chart, see, excuse me. Um, XY scatter, next, next, next. No display legend, unclick that. Title, this would be one over the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. Versus time. Subtitles your name. You guys know not to put the words your name, put your own name, right? Okay. Um, X is time. Unit are seconds. Y axis is um, um, one over the concentration of hydrogen peroxide. Unit are it's one over moles per liter, or that's the same as thing as liters per mole. With the x-axis, click finish. There we go. And then again, left click on one of the dots, right click on it, insert trend line, type, show equation, show coefficient of determination. Okay. Left click on the equation, right click, format trend line equation. Numbers. There we go. Six past the decimal. And there we go. Again, pretty poor R squared. It's obviously not a straight line. That's all there is to that, guys.